The brief break Wednesday. That's your weekend forecast, Lester. Bill, thanks. Mourners will be gathering in Florida today to bury artist Johnny Daniels, one of the so-called Florida highwaymen. They were a group of African-American painters who sold colorful oil paintings along Florida's highways decades ago. NBC's Kerry Sanders spoke to Johnny Daniels shortly before his death. They're among the most sought after originals in Florida these days, paintings from the 50s and 60s, created by the likes of Johnny Daniels, who started mixing colors in the Jim Crow South when mixing colors could get a man killed. Daniels remembers putting his earliest works out for sale in white neighborhoods. You get out and if you don't move fast enough, they'll kick it. Kick your work right on up out of there. But Daniels, an eighth grade dropout, stuck with it. Not as a means of expression, rather as an escape from backbreaking work picking oranges. Paintings, after all, sold for 10 to $20. So Daniels and two dozen other farmhands just like him learned to paint from a white man named Beanie Backus. They traveled Florida's back roads, became known as the Florida Highwaymen, painting fast, selling faster. Often the oils were still wet. Some of the people back in the day would say, we stole the paint, and if I could put a mark in it, and clear it up with my finger, they know then that I had to be the artist. Today, highwaymen paintings hang in the Florida governor's mansion. Collectors have paid upwards of $50,000 for a piece. It's emotional when you look at the art. You, the color, the scenes, it just, uh, the story behind the art. I'm gonna have to mix this up a little more. Kelvin Hare, whose dad was a highwayman, says his favorite stories today are from those who turned his dad away. I hear people saying, your father came to my store and he tried to sell me these paintings and I wouldn't buy any, I wish I'd have bought them all. Kelvin says, like his father, he learned if your hands are busy, there's no time for mischief. And you don't have to do yours exactly like mine. It's why he's now teaching an eager new generation. That light will show up even better. I think it's important for me to keep it alive because if no one does, then, you know, other generations won't know, like, what, like, what they accomplished and everything. Florida highwaymen painted in a time when color mattered. Now they're honored by a new generation for how they used color. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Fort Pierce, Florida. We'll be right back. But first, this is Today on NBC.